Glad you're still with us, Boss Tonight, on your award-winning channels, television. We are into the World Cup vibes now. So that's serious business as we continue our countdown to the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Who's been walking with us on this journey? We started when it was 100 days to go. Today, it's now 54 more days. I feel the fever already. The World Cup is upon us. 54 more days to the 2018 FIFA World Cup. It will be the 21st edition of the tournament. And Russia will be hosted. Uh, it will be played from June the 14th to July the 15th. The best countries uh, in the world uh, that qualify for the World Cup uh, will play football for pride and glory. Uh, Pelé says Brazil has what it takes to win it. Uh, I don't call him Daniel Amokachi anymore. The prophet Daniel Amokachi says an African team can get to the final and Nigeria can even win it. So a lot of talking points have been coming out of the 2018 FIFA World Cup. And that's what we're doing uh, with the World Cup vibes. Let you know what's going on with it. Another major talking point for this year's FIFA World Cup is the introduction of the video assistant referee. We saw it at the Confederation Cup. Oh, questions were asked. Uh, uh, it delays play. It takes away the human emotion to football and all of that. So these guys, you see right there, they're a group of referees, and they have started training uh, with the video assistant referee. Call it VAR to play around with it. Uh, that technology is supposed to assist the referees are right there on the pitch. And they are in Florence, Italy, as they prepare for uh, the World Cup that will commence in June. Football's ruling uh, body, um, football ruling uh, making body, IFAB, approved the use of the VAR system in March. And FIFA consequently confirmed that it will be used at the World Cup in Russia. FIFA referees committee officials say the use of this technology will not eliminate discussions within the game as decisions are subject to the interpretation of referees. So this referee is in charge of the match. Something he didn't see, he goes back to look at the, uh, the VAR, but he still has his discretion to use. So he says, I, I think it's like this. I think it's like that. So in the end, the referee is still the king because... I see a lot of football fans say, so does this now mean that the VAR is overtaking uh, the referee uh, right there um, on, on the pitch? No. They said that the referee's interpretation um, is fine now. So I think it's a good introduction. Uh, change is constant. Let's see. Let's see what uh, the VAR will give to us at the World Cup. We saw it at the Confederation Cup. We also saw it. Uh, it was introduced at the Chan uh, for uh, Africa. Let's see it at the world stage. Let's go get some more talking points. This VAR, the, the, the discussion will continue. Let's listen to them. Before uh, you start using something that is new and not uh, well known by, by many, uh, it is normal that uh, someone could be skeptical about, uh, about this. What uh, we can say is uh, uh, the goal is clear. Uh, VAR can avoid the uh, big mistake to be committed, and this is the target, and this is something that has to be understood by everybody, as well as uh, there will be discussions, there will be different opinions on interpretations. Uh, football uh, gives a lot uh, to referees in terms of uh, interpretation, is completely different from other sports like uh, tennis, volley, basketball, cricket, uh, where the technology is used only for factual decisions. In, uh, in football, not. Uh, there are many interpretations, so something that could be clear for me uh, in a way could be not for another, and this is not what uh, VAR will answer to. I repeat, for those uh, mistakes uh, which in the past uh, uh, created uh, big problems, uh, uh, certainly they will be avoided. We are very comfortable to work as a VAR and to work with the VAR because um, FIFA did everything is possible to give us uh, this uh, big trust in this in the system of VAR but one thing is for sure the VAR doesn't take all the discussions out of football. Uh, the VAR can be your best friend when we miss a crucial situation so he can really help you to correct this mistake you made. So it's fantastic to have this VAR on the World Cup, but for sure it won't make the system. The system will not be there to clarify everything in football. We will still have a lot of discussions about football moments. I feel very comfortable working with VAR 
because FIFA has done so many seminars for us. It um, training of VAR, both on the pitch and off the pitch. So we are very, very comfortable. And um, we also started in Africa. Now we are also using VR on few occasions, not all, and especially on tournaments. So I am very comfortable. So that's it. Africa also uh, represented in that VAR discussion. Bakari Gassama says, it's okay. We're comfortable. We've tried it in Africa and it worked well. So no problem. Bring it on at the World Cup. We're going to work with it. Kupas says, look, it will not eradicate the discussions. Yes, because football fans, they want to talk about it. That Lampard's goal, it was a goal. It went in. And the VAR will eradicate all of that. He says, no, the discussions will still be there. And yes, I know football fans are very, very passionate. So they will still talk about it. They will blame VAR. They will talk about the referees. So he says, no, Kupas says, no, 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 no. It will assist the referee. When the referee goofs, he can go back to the system and then correct his mistake. Guys, isn't that lovely? And then you saw uh, Pierluigi Colina. In the days of Colina, he didn't need VAR. He was in charge. He was his own VAR. No nonsense referee. And it's good to know that he's the chairman of the Referees Commission right there. So this VAR discussion will continue. Persons, we keep talking about it. And uh, when the World Cup comes and goes, we'll still talk about it. Even in Qatar uh, 2022, we'll still be talking about the VAR. Sports tonight on Channel Television is still uh, the World Cup vibes. Uh, another talking point is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Is he going to the World Cup or not? Now, you see, football is um, here and there. Zlatan has been out of the Swedish national team for about two years and the team is going well, and they've qualified for the World Cup. But Zlatan is on fire. I mean, Zlatan is about 36, 35, 36, and he's still playing amazing football. And so there are calls that when Zlatan go to the World Cup, he's not saying anything about it yet, but um, if you're a fan of Swedish football, would you like to see Zlatan at the World Cup? I'm sure the coach will want to see him at the World Cup, but is it fair to the players that qualified for the World Cup? Uh, this morning, someone says life is unfair, but we're good to see Zlatan Ibrahimovic at the World Cup. Let's take some talking points coming out of Zlatan and his World Cup beat. Ibra this year, but we don't know. I'm going capacity. to the World Cup, yes. Well, you don't, you're not telling us if you're going to play or... If I give you more, you will get too much followers, so <laughs> you keep it like this. 